Hey, what's up? I hope you're doing great. My name is Daniel Carrion, and today we will talk about one of the topics I really like, the area of a circle. But before we start, let's go over some basics. The circumference is the outline of the circle, the edge. It is also known as the perimeter. The radius is the line segment from the center of the circle to any point of the circumference. The diameter is a line segment that passes through the center of the circle and it divides it into two equal parts. The area is the measure of the surface that a figure covers and it is measured in square units, such as square centimeters, square meters, etc. In other words, they are the squares of a certain size that fit inside the figure, as here. The formula to calculate the area is area equals pi times radius squared. Remember that the value of pi would always be 3.1416. To calculate the area of a circle, we will have to square. So let's look at some examples quickly. Here I have 3 squared. This means that the 3 is going to multiply by itself 2 times. 3 times 3 gives us 9. Now, I have 5 squared. This means that the 5 is going to multiply by itself 2 times. This is equal to 5 times 5 equals to 25. Now, here I have centimeters squared. This means that they are going to be multiplied by themselves. Centimeter times centimeter is equal to centimeter squared. Now, I have 6 centimeters squared. This means that 6 centimeters is going to multiply by itself 2 times. I have 6 centimeters times 6 centimeters. First, I'm going to multiply the numbers. 6 times 6 gives me 36, and centimeter times centimeter gives me square centimeters. Therefore, my final result is 36 centimeters squared. Now, we're going to see some examples. Here I have a circle and it has a radius of 5 centimeters. First, I put my formula. Area equals pi times radius squared. Now I'm going to substitute data. This means that instead of putting the letters, I am going to put their value. A equals pi is worth 3.1416 and the radius in this case is worth 5 centimeters. I raise it to the second power because the formula is times radius squared. Now, let's do the operations. First, I have to elevate to the second power, so it remains as area equals 3.1416 times and 5 centimeters squared is the same as multiplying 5 centimeters times 5 centimeters. 5 times 5 gives me 25 and centimeter times centimeter gives me centimeter squared. Now, I only have to multiply. Therefore, my area is equal to 3.1416 times 25 centimeter squared equals 78.54 centimeter squared. This means that this circle will fit 78.54 squares of one centimeter per side. Very easy, right? Let's see another example. Here I have a circle with a diameter of 18 centimeters. First, I put the formula area equals pi times radio squared. Now, I am going to substitute data. This means that instead of putting the letters, I am going to put their value. A equals pi is worth 3.1416 and the radius. In this case, it gave me the diameter and half of it is the radius. Half of 18 is 9 centimeters. I put here 9 centimeters squared because the formula tells me so. I have A equals 3.1416 times and I have to square 9 centimeters. So I multiplied 9 times 9 and it gives me 81. And centimeter times centimeter gives me centimeters squared. Now, to get the area, I just have to multiply. A equals 3.1416 times 81. 
and it gives me 254.46. This means that this circle will fit 254.46 squares of 1 cm per side. Very easy, right? Let's see another example. Here I have a circle with a radius of 3.5 cm. First I put the formula, area equals pi times radius squared, area equals 3.1416 times 3.5 cm of the radius squared. First I have to square, so A equals 3.1416 and 3.5 times 3.5 which gives me 12.25 and centimeter times centimeter gives me centimeter squared. Now if to know how much is my area, I have to multiply them. So the area equals 3.1416 times 12.25 centimeters squared and is equal to 38.48 centimeters squared. This means that this circle can fit 38.48 squares of 1 centimeter per side. Very easy, right? Now, I am going to leave some exercises for you to solve. I hope to see your answers in the comments. I really hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe to be able to keep watching my videos. See you next time. Bye bye.